Godgame.com, all the game you want and then some. Hey there and welcome back to your daily dose of gaming news. In the background I'm playing an awful game called The Amazing Spider-Man 2 and frankly I'm still wondering if I can call it a game or not because it sucks man. You'll see, I'll, I'll even make a review about it and, and you'll watch that too and you'll make your decision based on that. But until then, let's talk about Sony PlayStation 4. With a 1.70 update, several reports surfaced the internet re revealing a DualShock 4 problem brought by the patch. Apparently, the console will not longer send vibration feedback through your controller and will auto disable this function. Luckily, there's a way to solve this glitch and it's quite simple. You just hold the home button, bring up the menu, select adjust devices and then turn off device. Finally, press once more the home button uh, to turn the DualShock 4 on and your vibration will be back. But there's a catch to it. This only works until you reboot your console, because the issue will come back right again after you restart your console or you're turning it off and maybe start playing tomorrow. So it only works if you're doing it constantly uh, every time you want to play uh, PlayStation 4. Even if you care about uh, vibrations, if you do not, there's no problem for you. Uh, it will be fixed uh, soon, I'm sure about that. Honestly, my console has no problem so far, but if you encounter this problem, here's the solution. It's quite simple. It's it's sad that we have to do this, but at least we're, we're capable of doing something about it and not just staying and waiting for Sony to do something. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.